Good morning and welcome to another episode of Turning Point. I am Sean Richards, political leader of the People's Action Movement. For this morning's episode, I join you from the town of Kayon, Green Valley. This morning, we will be speaking about an issue that has been plaguing the community of Kayon for many years. From what I've gathered, this issue has been plaguing the residents of Kayon even before I was born. That is the issue of the supply of water to residents here in the Kayon community. This morning, I have with me a resident of Kayon, Mr. Travis Huggins. And Travis will be discussing with me the water issue. As a resident of Kayon, of course, he has a first-hand experience as to how the water, the, or the lack of the supply of regular water, affects him and other persons within the Kayon community. Travis, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Richards. And how are you? I'm good this morning. Thank you for joining me on Turning Point. As indicated to our viewers, I am discussing the water issue here in Kayon. Mm -hmm. How has the water issue been affecting you as a resident of the Kayon community? Well, as many of you would know, right? Since it's been years now, I myself have been complaining on Facebook. Those of you who have me on Facebook, Chavidan, we know how much, and this is beyond politics. We are have, we have in a terrible situation over here with water. Many times we wake up in the morning, we're not sure if water will be there. We go to sleep, we have um, our kids to bed, ourselves to bed. We don't know, we don't even know how we're gonna make it to work fresh in the morning. Sometimes we have the island purify water, the one with the hunger. Those are our best friends. We bathe with them, we wash dishes with them. We wash our kids' skin with them, but the thing is, if we don't fill them up, it's a big problem the next day, and that's how, that we've been facing for many, many years, and we just need the problem fixed. That's all right now. We, everybody knows in St. Kitts, we have it the worst in Kayan, and it's sad to see we have our own supply. We have a nice source up there with fresh water, but I, I really don't know how the system is set up, but we just need the problem fixed. It's terrible. And, you know, water is life without water. I mean, some of us rather live without current electricity than to live without water. But that is what we're facing right now. And it's been plaguing us for a long, long, very long time. How many years have you been living in Kayon? I've been living all my life. And if you don't mind, how old are you? I'm 31. So this is a problem uh, which has been affecting you ever since you are a child growing up in Kayon? Yes, um, but... As late, it been, it been worse. I remember in high school, that's when it been really, really worse. Um, I don't know what the problem was, but yeah, I know climate change and different stuff. But Kayan is one of the largest population um, community in the Federation. So, I mean, whatever y'all have to do, the people really depending on it. Right now, as you can see, you catch me at a time where I'm trying to fill up water because water might go 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock. It might go even now. We don't know. So we always have to have, for those people, you know, have it a little better, they would buy the big tanks and so forth. But for many of us, as you can see, if you look even in the neighbor yard right now, you have a number of bottles, over a hundred bottles, water bottles, the same bottles that I spoke about. She come there every morning and she, f she fill them up. I myself have a, you can see her right now, now I'm talking, she's there, have a few bottles that she go into the water pipe. And she, she... Good morning. She do this every morning. This is something. <laughs> this is something that sometimes you see people with stroller. Sometimes you see people with um pickup and all kind of things come. Come with a pickup. Come with the car because we have a little, you know, public pipe right there, and we go and fill up. Okay. Well, you you know what I mean. It's interesting that we're here speaking about the issue, and this wasn't prompted anything like that. But here is the neighbor actually going to fill up some bottles of water. So let me ask you a question: Is it that she's filling up in anticipation uh, that water might be going, or is it uh, that water is actually currently off at this point in time? Well, water is on right now. Water is on. Most of the time, 
he come back early in the morning at six o'clock but you still don't know you don't you know so you have to be prepared what we try to do we prepare ourselves in case just in case we always have to live with just in case so we go there every morning where the water there where the water ain't there and we fill up because you see when it goes sometimes we don't know when it come back it could go for two days it could go for three days sometimes it go for four or five days and this is what we've been dealing with for many years so without filling up <laughs> you know we have to go by a neighbor a neighboring community. Many times I had to go by a different village to bed, ask a friend, ask a family to use the bathroom, to use the toilet, because, you know, this is how we've been living for a very long time. And it's heartbreaking. See, the lady right now is fooling up. And without that, let's say she, she couldn't fill up this morning. Something happened, she had to go out. Later, she don't have no water. And this is what we've been dealing with, so. So I suppose that you do something similar to the lady in terms of filling up her bottles? Actually, actually, I was just about to, before you all came here, I have my bottles there. You can get them. <laughs> these are my bottles, you see. Without these bottles, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I think when I am pure before I make these water bottles, they were thinking about care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is how we bathe. We wash with dishes with these, we do everything. We go in the bathroom and we, you know, and we soap up and we throw them all over with skin. This is what we do. So right now, I'm sharing with her. I'm actually going to full up. And as I tell you, we know, we know, we're just preparing. This is what we do. We prepare. So we come here and we full up. A number of people come here. Sometimes it's chocolate. Somebody would come here with the, the pickup. A friend would ask them to full up for them. They come with different containers to pull up some people come with a big tank some people come with all kind of things because this is a sure thing we know this will be on sometime in the day but sometimes this is on and residents um water ain't on so but this is what we do I pull them and this is just for later because you don't know if i going out later and i can't be it all my plans cancel because i ain't going and smell funny so this is what we do this is why i come here and do mostly but throughout the day if you all stick around, I mean, many, many people will come here. I mean, a guy come here every morning, he use a, a, a baby pram. He use the pram, the stroller. Yeah. <laughs> That's when where some people come and just pull up and go with them. How many would you normally fill up on a daily basis? Well, I will fill up at least 10. This is, this is just some. I will be back and fill them up because throughout the night, I mean... So many things we have to do. If you need to wash out something on your hand, you know you can't use the machine in the night. We don't wash in the night. We have to use this water. We have to use this water if we have to flush the toilets. You don't know how much time people go into the toilets in the night. How many persons live in your home, Travis? Three right now. And a baby. So how many adults? Three, three and a baby, so it's four. So three adults and a baby. And I could imagine that having a baby living in the home and concern about sanitation and you, you know we had COVID recently that uh, this is a real concern within the Kayan community for so many uh, different reasons. So I, I, I mean I certainly would not want to be living uh, this way in the year 2022. And uh, that is why, as the political leader of the People's Action Movement, I am giving a commitment to the people of uh, Kayan uh, to immediately have uh, the water issue solved within the first 100 days in office. As a matter of fact, when I was the minister with responsibility for public infrastructure, I took the opportunity to sign a contract. Uh, that contract in the first instance call for the correction of the water coming from a well in the Shadwell area referred to as Shadwell 2. The quality of the water there is a compromise. And the second aspect of the contract called for the drilling of a well in Kayan to identify an alternative source of water for the people of Kayan. Unfortunately, it came at a time when COVID was very much with us. The company, Bead, came in a first time and began doing some work relative to correcting the issues at Shadwell 2. 
Unfortunately, the company did not have the equipment required uh, to get the corrections done to Shadwell 2. And so that frustrated the work. The company did leave. And it also was at a time when, when you came into the Federation, you had to do quarantine. And so the company had concerns about that also. The company eventually left with the intentions of coming back to complete the work with Shadwell to and also to do the drilling in the Kayan area. My last conversation with Bede uh, just before I left office was that Bede is supposed to be returning during the course of this month to begin drilling for a new well here in Kayan to supply the people of Kayan with water to bring this issue to an end. As I said in 2022, residents of Kayan should not have to be catching water on a daily basis in order to be able to supply themselves and their family members with water. Water is considered to be essential. We cannot live without water. Therefore, as I've said to the people of Kayan, the People's Action Movement will ensure that this issue is permanently resolved. We have heard your cries over the years, and I said to you, with Chesley Hamilton as your representative, with Sean Richards, a leader that you can trust, a leader who keeps his promises, who keeps his commitments, that the water issue in Kayan will be solved and solved permanently. No longer would you, the residents of Kayan, be having to take these water bottles to the different pipes around the Kayan community and have to fill them on a daily basis because you don't know at what point in time your water will be gone, whether it will be gone for two or three hours for a full day, two days, three days, four days, five days, as indicated by Travis. Indeed, it is unfortunate and governments after governments have, un have undoubtedly failed you, the people of Kayan. It is time for this situation to be correct. I ask you here in the Kayan community to give your support to Chesley Hamilton as the candidate in this constituency. Chesley is here from Kayan. Chesley cares about the people of Kayan and Chesley wants to see this issue being solved. I know that a next gentleman is going to also get one of the containers filled in order for him to save water to have it for when the water goes out here in the Kayan community. So again, I said to you, support Chesley, support the People's Action Movement to bring a permanent resolution to this, the water issue here in Kayan. Thank you for turn, tuning in to Turning Point this morning. seems as though Travis is actually doing some construction in the back and so you see it in many different ways eh, that water can affect persons if you're doing construction you need the water to use if you're operating a business you need water to use I can imagine children attending school and actually when I was a minister of education eh, there would have been instances when school would have happened to close early during the course of the day because you have so many children using the bathroom facilities needing to whether it is flush the toilets wash their hands etc and no water is there for those children to be able to use and so whether it is you need to cook whether you need to wash whether it is you need to clean your homes you need to take a shower you need water to drink this issue is one that is in need of correcting and again I give my commitment, I give my word that the water issue in Kayan will be solved. <laughs>